This is the ultimate grip strength challenge. Grip strength challenge. To squeeze it as hard as you can, and then it will show you how strong you are. It goes all the way up to 90 kilo, and today we're gonna find someone who can break it. And I'm in a hotel full of Ninja Warrior athletes, where the world's strongest climbers all walk around at the world's deadliest obstacle course race. And we're gonna check out which one of them is the strongest. Let's go! <laughs> oh! <laughs> For example, Renee Caselli with over 2 million followers, who is currently the only person on earth to have ever been able to beat the infamous rope from Ninja Warrior Germany. Yeah! And he can also do a quad backflip on top of an elephant. Let's see if he can break it. And there's only one rule. You're allowed to use one hand only. And no, blowing into it is also not allowed. 2,0. Scheiße. Even though he was Ninja Warrior Champion. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't even close to breaking it. Wow, no 450. But how hard is it actually? As a reference, I walked up to some girls and checked out how well they did. If you can press more than your own weight, you get $1,000. <laughs> 1,000. You're so rich. 20, 40, They all averaged between 30 and 50 kilos. This girl could be reaching even over 54 kilos. So, in order to break this device, we are looking for someone at least twice as strong as most women and 50% stronger as the current strongest Ninja Warrior champion in Germany. I decided to approach the rock climbers, who have been holding onto their hands for their whole life long. If someone could break it, it would be them for sure. <laughs> for example, this guy, called Max, who has already won Ninja Warrior once and is known for his insane hard finger strength workouts. Can he break it? Let's find out. Come on, Max! <laughs> he started with a solid 58 kilograms and got better in every attempt until he reached 63 kilos, which is already more than his own body weight. But then he tried and tried again and couldn't go any higher. <laughs> All hope seemed lost when he decided to change his technique and came up with the idea of lifting his arm high up in the air. He gathered all his strength and gave it all for one last attempt. And he still failed. But give it up for Max who proved one more time that thinking inside of the box can lead to whole new levels. But I knew there had to be someone who can break it. I've seen videos of firefighters, bull riders and bodybuilders who all tried and desperately failed. I even tried it myself multiple times and even though I got pretty close, I was never able to make it to the magic number of 90 kilos. 84, 6. That's why the next guy who showed up had a secret weapon that he claimed would help him to break the device. His name is Philip. He's a World Cup climber and he has also won at Ninja Warrior before. And this is how he trains. And as you might already have guessed, his secret weapon is screaming, <laughs> which he has copied from the arguably greatest climber of all time, Adam Ondra. When man ausatmet, is man stärker as Das geht man training. By screaming as loud as you can, he claims that you can enable extra strength that brings you to whole new levels. I'm already hyped to see him try. With a pretty cool jump at the start, that surely gained him some extra strength. He started off super strong and got wait what? Only 50 kilos? He even tried it for a second time and still didn't make it past the mark of 60. <laughs> but how could it be that not even the strongest ninja warriors on earth could beat the ultimate grip strength challenge? As I was looking for a solution, I came up with a painful idea that maybe your ex-girlfriend lied to you and size does actually matter after all. As all of these guys were super lightweight because it's essential to their sports to be as efficient and fast as possible, maybe bigger is better and we just have to find the biggest guys in the round to finally break the ultimate grip strength challenge. But before that, I decided to let two of the best climbers try for one more time. Both having already won Ninja Warrior and one of them three times in a row. If they could make it, none of them could. <laughs> Get it? Hold in your tiger. 66, 8. And to no surprise, they also failed, with Moritz currently leading the board. But now let's check out the big boys. In theory, the bigger you are, the stronger your grip must be. And since your mom wasn't at the hotel, I had to look for other big persons and I found these. First up, Ali, who is an absolute monster. He used to be a bodybuilder with over 120 kilos of raw muscle, but now transitioned to bodyweight training only. Will he be able to beat it? And? 62, 66. 62. Oh, 66. Oh, 66. And? Oh, that is good. 63. 
Since even Ali, who reached 66 kilos, couldn't break it, I was running out of options. There were only three big guys remaining who were my last hope. Dima, who recently became dead, which hopefully will give him that extra dead strength. Stefan, who has the biggest ninja warrior park in the world in his garden. And Uli, our chauffeur, who is just a super big and chill dude who doesn't train at all. Come on guys, if you don't make it, we will never find someone who is able to break it. Hey Mann, ich krieg, bei mir rutscht das doch weg. Ja, wir haben alle so fettige Hände. Übel die fettigen Hände. Ja, ja, passt doch, 70 ist super Zahl, alle. With the first person to get over 70 kilos, we now got one step closer to the holy grail of 90 kilos. No, there's only two more remaining, they're even bigger than him. Come on, Stefan, you're my last hope. 81 kilo. With 81 kilo, he was the closest one to ever break it. But if you look closely, he used both his hands, which wouldn't have counted anyway. So now the only chance we have left is this guy. Strongest driver in town. 2,0. Scheiße. Uli usually works as a chauffeur for RTL and is driving around celebrities on a daily basis. And now he's here to drive all the Ninja Warrior athletes to the movie set. Will he be the one who finally beats it? Oh, wie viel müssen wir denn schaffen? Oh. Schau ich doch nicht, ey, Mann, da mal. On his first try, he had 52 kilos. And then he went up till 60 kilos. <laughs> but he was nowhere close to beating the 90 kilos. Nobody seemed to be strong enough to beat the ultimate grip strength challenge. <laughs> Many tried and they all failed. <laughs> but then something crazy happened. I was about to go into my room when suddenly this guy showed up in the elevator. He heard from the other athletes that I brought the challenge and wanted to try it. And little did I know that he also used to be a professional climber but now stopped because his muscles just got too big. He is called Sluddy and he is an absolute beast. He can hang around in a front lever with just using two fingers or carrying three other dudes. This guy is an absolute monster, so now let's see what he's got for his first attempt. He easily broke the high score with 83 kilograms, but will he break the 90? In his second and third attempt, he got super close with 89 kilograms, which is only one kilo away from the maximum amount possible. Will he finally be the one to break it? He then disappeared and came back with a bag full of chalk for one last Try. And he made it! Congrats, Daddy, for being the strongest ninja in the world and the strongest athlete I personally know. Go write in the comments who you wanna see tried, and we'll see each other in the next video. And subscribe. Let's go!